Waffle TV. I'm here with the cast and director of Tumbling After. How are you guys doing? Fabulous. Really Brilliant. Nice. So tell me a bit about your show. I'm going to let my okay. director do this. <laughs> um, so it's a devised physical theatre piece based on our real life experiences of relationships. And it's two couples living next door to each other in two flats. And the idea is that they get into relationships that they weren't necessarily expecting. And the audience gets to see how those relationships form and then also fall apart and what happens afterwards. Brilliant. So it's sort of a mix of physical theatre and acting, is that right? There is actually some words in it, everything like that. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I used to say it was physical theatre and dance but it's very much more drama mm -hmm. because the, the stories are so detailed yeah. and the movement is something that when putting it together I never wanted them to be now we're moving and now we're acting they 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 mesh together very much like I'm very much inspired by deviate theatre mm -hmm. company oh, okay. and they marry those things so beautifully where you know they, they, they match up so that's what we we, we do in our show definitely right. so what would you say are the sort of main themes and issues that you address within the piece well love <laughs> love, love. Yeah. Um, choices. Choices, yeah. Uh, it's very easy to get wrapped up in love and not make selfish choices for yourself because everyone always demonizes being selfish, but I think in some situations in relationships it's so pivotal mm -hmm. to sit back and go, is this okay for me? Is this right for me? And we question that a lot in the show because mm -hmm. it's everyone loves getting caught up in the whirlwind sort of honeymoon period. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there's definitely a lot of that. Right. And we have some sort of relatively new members over here, don't we? Yes. How has the process been for you guys becoming a part of the company? Really exciting. Incredible, actually. Yeah, it's, it, it's been a stretch. It's pushed us all in, as performers in ways we haven't experienced before. It's been, it's been lovely. It's lovely. been shockingly easy to work. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Mary. <Nice. laughs> That's brilliant. So is this you, your first time at the Fringe or have you done some shows previously? I did a one-woman show last year called Smoking Band, which I also did at Brighton Fringe. Um, Vicky here is a veteran in her own right. She's done a lot of fringing. Yeah, I think this is my fourth one. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's nice to be back. So what would you say makes your show different from all the other shows that are sort of similar at the Fringe? Well, our set is vertical, and we're probably the only company in the Fringe that's simulating sex at a 65 degree angle. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, so is, how, how does that work? Well, I've bit, built two vertical beds oh. that are an A-frame, and basically they're covered in acrobatic roping, so from the audience view, it's a bird's eye view, like you're looking down on them in bed. Oh, okay. So it's all up in your face. Oh, that's so interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Come along. So when and where are you guys on? We are at Space Triple X, which is on Hill Place across from Nicholson Square. It's the new space venue. Um, beautiful, like five by eight meter stage. A lot of it's very generous space, which is great for us. Yeah. Great. Well, thank you so much for coming and speaking to us, guys. Thank you. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by Bulmers. <laughs>